you came to the right spot. Now let's install Jenkins on Windows 10. First, you go to jenkins.io slash doc slash book slash installing slash windows because this is for Windows. Keep in mind that there are some prerequisites and as you can see here, the prerequisites, hardware requirements meaning I'm referring to 256 megabytes of RAM, one gigabyte of live space or the recommended is four gigabytes of RAM and 50 gigabytes of drive space depending on how many jobs you're gonna have in Jenkins how many logs and so on and so on besides the hardware requirements there are also the software requirements as you can see over here we have the Java web browser and the Windows support policy yeah so uh, besides this let's just start let's see what are the Java requirements so you need Java of course you need the uh, JDK or uh, JRE depending but I'm gonna install on JDK in just a few seconds and uh, we mentioned about browser compatibility since we're using uh, Edge right now this is compatible so no problem here so let me install Java and I'll get back to you in just a second of course all the links are gonna be available in the description but as you can see here I went to the Oracle website I've chosen the Windows X64 because this is a 64 image and we're gonna download their version yes I want to accept yes I want to download and it will uh, direct me to a login so I'll create my uh, login I'll download Java and I'll get back to you okay so I installed Java and as you can see on the screen uh, I've opened a command prompt and I've typed uh, Java minus version so you can see here the Java version that I already installed so as I mentioned for hardware requirements I've already met Java requirements I've already met uh, browser compatibility I've already met these as well as well so now let's just download Java not java i mean uh, jenkins you go to the link installing jenkins you go to windows and here you have referred to the windows sections of the download jenkins page download jenkins page this is uh, the version and yeah you just have to uh, choose uh, which version do you want to pick you can pick the latest stable or the regular release okay and um, I'm gonna pick uh, this one for Windows because I wanna go with the latest stable. Just click it and it should start uh, downloading in a few seconds. Um, as it mentions here, download hasn't started. Click this link. Uh, I'm gonna click it because it didn't start. So as yes, you can see over here right on the bottom of my screen it already started downloading Jenkins now let's just wait for it to finish okay and you can see here you can leave it in parallel if you want I'm gonna walk you step by step what you need to do this is exactly as they're suggesting yes choose a file location yes then choose an uh, credentials these are credentials that you're gonna use for Jenkins I'm gonna go with uh, admin admin yeah credentials must be tested yeah um, let me just see what user do I have here oh I have a user user you need to put here the credentials for Windows yeah hmm I will run it as a local because it's not working for me because this is a virtual machine on uh, Hyper-V and I haven't set any password for my user so I'm gonna run it as a local now you know what uh, let me just uh, credentials manager again this is a good uh, practice that you always run into problems so um, in case somebody else runs into the same problem let's just uh, open this administrative tools 
Yeah, and there you should see, as the error mentions here, that you don't have a privilege. So I'm gonna give myself the privilege, just a few seconds. Where is it? Okay, and we're gonna go to local security policy. Okay, and here you're gonna look for local policy. You're gonna look for uh, user rights assignments. Okay, and here you're gonna look for um, log on as a service. You see here, over here, this is the one. Log on as a service, select properties. Okay, add a user and the user that I want to add, find now. The user is named user. Okay, okay, apply. Okay, let's try again. As you can see, this was fixed. So it's good that you try it so you can um, find some issues and uh, debug while you are installing. Let's get back to the installation path. Next, it mentions here that you should use port 8080 test port to see if it's not blocked by anything else. You have to put your JDK path, if I'm not mistaken, JDK. 291 as I installed earlier. This is correct. Next. Uh, firewall exception. Next. And just install. Yes. And it's just starting the services. Finish. Okay. And it's just installing the last thing it needs to start automatically. And it should start in a few seconds, as it mentions on the screen. Please wait while Jenkins is getting ready to work. Yeah. To unlock, a password has been set. Yeah, this is the uh, password that you already set. Yeah, I made a mistake, so this is not the password you already set. This is the password that is uh, created over here. So let's navigate to that path. For example, let's go to c.user.user and I cannot see app data because I don't have permission to see all the files, but uh, I can change that. Hidden items and it should be here. Update local and should see here Jenkins, Jenkins, secrets, initial admin password open with notepad let's see this was the password and you put it right here and tada you now have jenkins you can install pl suggested plugins and um, build timeout everything that is suggested by him this will take a few minutes of course you need to wait nothing else to do installing 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 yeah while he's doing that you can clear anything else and we're gonna just wait for the default plugins that uh, jenkins suggested that you should install and then you should be good to go um, you can see the default contains git which is really good build timeout email extension, workspace, uh, pipeline, all the necessary stuff. Okay, you're gonna need Maven and so on, depending on what are you gonna use Jenkins for. In my case, I'm gonna need Maven because I wanna do some, I wanna integrate it with my uh, Java REST Assure, which I'm gonna be doing another demo and some automation framework on it. But yeah, this is gonna take a few seconds. So, uh, let me just pause you right here and we'll be back when everything uh, finishes. So now we just finished installing all the plugins and you got to the first uh, window. If you want to create your first admin 
we will not do that we will do skip and continue as admin of course you can name here the instance you can put whatever name you want we're gonna leave it with localhost start using jenkins and that's it you got jenkins you can go from here you can manage uh, jenkins you can see here i got some error because some of the plugins did not install correctly but you can fix that uh, later on this was uh, an issue because i ran out of memory on my disk where my virtual machine was uh, running and it took the installation forever <laughs> but yeah this was it this was jenkins on windows 10 um, don't forget to like this video drop a comment down below what would you like to see next or what else would you like me to show you from jenkins if you need something else i don't know Thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.